kind day to you all! I am Kinsmark, and this is Let's Play Unaligned, a classic 3D platformer created as a student project at the Pompeo Fabra University in Spain. I'm curious to check it out because I'm always interested in seeing instructed approaches to game design, so let's commence a new game. Alright, clearly snappy load time. Cutscene. Alright, cool. Cool fairy. Can I have one? Cool sigil. Can I have one? Ah! I assume I can, because I think that's me. Because that looks like the character art I've seen in the screenshots. Come on, hurry! We must find a way out before they capture you again. Oh, alright, alright. Can I, uh, can I click through that? Ah, alright, I'm just straight into it then. Alright, so W, A, S, and D our move, space is jump, and I can't tell how to do anything else, so I'll just move right along. Ah, oh, cool, I can actually move the camera now using the mouse. Look, do you feel it? One of your stolen powers must be sealed in that stone. We'll need to get it out of there. Alright, so, ah, I see. E. Can I, can I do the E thing? There we go. Absorb the particles of power! Alright, simple enough. So, right mouse does something. You got back your power to jump between worlds, but be careful, your time in the other world is limited. Now try it. Alright, so is this Soul Reaver-esque? As in, completing puzzles using dimension shifting? Apparently so, because this almost looks aesthetically similar as well. Interesting. Alright, man, this is incredibly well optimized, actually. Follow me. Uh... I would if I could see you, friend. Huh. Heartbeat. That's deep and thumpy. I could actually feel that coming through the floor through my subwoofer. Alright, can I actually, like, do anything with these? I cannot. Alright. Cool almost horde symbol on your cape there, friend. Uh, I guess I should head this way then. Can I sprint? I can't seem to. I kinda like that fire effect. There's only a few frames to it. It has a nice character, though. Interesting, too, that... I think it's the color palette. That fire, though it's a flat animation that just pans along with the angle of the camera, doesn't look out of place. Like, it almost looks cel-shaded alongside the clearly 3D-modeled character art. Actually, is he slightly... Oh, I forget the name for that. Um... Ah, crap. I can't think of it. it. It's a type of visual effect that comes along with cell shading. That uh, dark outline around the edges of the character, no matter how the camera pans around them. There is a term for that. I can't quite remember it, though. And it gives it an, an animated sort of style. Oh, I think I see here. So I can change dimensions and climb the staircase. All right, cool. So... Am I to go through the door now? I can't tell. Uh, cool staircase and all, I just... Uh, Alright. Oh, I just realized. The second horn on the top of my head is gone here in apparently the material realm and appears again in the spirit world. So, alright. I assume... Alright, those things are still there in each dimension. That looks like a safer path. So, I guess I'll head that way. Ah! Alright, I had wondered what those holes were. Apparently they are deadly traps. So, that's a mild concern. Um, one suggestion I might give for the devs, since this has clearly zero HUD, is to make the character model the HUD. Because aside from that heartbeat audio, which persists after I change dimensions, um, I don't have any indication of how long I have in the alternate dimension. So maybe if that horn that appears in the alternate dimension were to diminish in its glow as my time in that dimension ran out, that might help me have 
a more reliable visual aid. Can I jump over those? Oh, I can. Okay, so it's just pressure sensitive, not proximity sensitive. All right, let's go. There we go. Almost cute the way they waggle. Murderously so. All right. So moving right along. I should also say, this is the first time I have recorded anything in many weeks, because I've had a lot come up in my personal life over the I missed last few weeks, and so I just haven't had the time or the clarity of headspace. You know what, let me try this other path, just for funsies, to do any recording. So uh, apologies if I seem a little out of it and a little out of practice in my commentary for this and the next few indie game videos like this that shall appear on the channel quite soon, because that's what I'm planning on doing with my afternoon today. <laughs> I'm just knocking the rust off. Oh! Those hover for only a moment. All right. Noted. Is there any reason for me to change dimensions here during this second? Ooh. I'm gonna just let them do their thing. There we go. So everything looks all cool and strobe lighty. Is there a perhaps? Oh, I see. All right. So I'm going to have to change dimensions mid-hop. All right. Can do. So let's go. Ooh, almost missed that. Oh, oh. Oh, my character does not have a reliable shadow, so that makes this platforming quite difficult. All right. Absorb a new power. Cool. All right. So... Ah, double jump. All right. Now you can reach higher places using your double jump, but beware, that power only works in the dark world. Ah, I see. And now we've name dropped it, so I can stop calling it the alternate dimension. Alright, cool. So you're going that way, and just conjuring islands for me, I appreciate it. Fay fairy friend. Alright, uh, could, could you give me a minute? Uh, you're moving a little fast for me there, friend. I'm not sure I can keep up with your pace. I really feel like this is just a test. You seem like you you could really just get through all of this for me if I needed you to. Oops. Ooh, ooh. I lucked that one. Because he just told me it only works in Dark World, and then I attempted to do it in the Light World. I am a fool. A lucky fool. A fool all the same, though. So I should go that way then. Yeah, because it looks like I need to get up to those higher platforms. And use those to get over there. All right, I see. The path is clear. Mostly, sort of. Not really. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll just have to try and double jump it from here to that one. So let's go. Hip. Ooh. Ooh -hoo -hoo. There we go. Okay. No. Oh. I could have timed that more elegantly. I uh, I could have timed that non-suicidally even. Ho oh, oh. ho. So I have to change dimensions. Actually sort of tricky, this game. Could do with more... I did it again. I keep forgetting. I can't double jump in the light world. All right. Yeah. There we go. Could do with more in the way of visual feedback for exactly where I am in the world. Because that's part of the issue for the floatiness of landing those jumps, I can't really see exactly what I am above at any given moment, because my shadow isn't directly underneath me. So that's a slight issue there. Okay, now for this. It looks like all of the platforms... Oh, okay, never mind. All of them are there in the light world. Some of them disappear in the dark world, though. All right, so... Cool image. That's thumbnail material right there. I'm just trying to plan out how I gotta time this. Okay. So if I wait for the moving platforms to get directly in front of the mid platforms, then I can time it pretty well, I think. Okay. So let's go right about now. Yep. And a yep. And now we. Yep. Oh, okay, all right. And now we... Yep. Uh-oh. Uh, all right, all right. 
I could maybe have made that just in the light world. Checkpoint, though. I just realized checkpoint put me here. Thank you, checkpoint. I appreciate that. All right, so let's... Yep. There we go. And now let's... Yep. All right. Good thing these have infinite duration, unlike the ones down low. All right, now we... Yeah, yep, okay. See, this time I can actually see my shadow. All right, so now I've got to... Do my double jump, change, and jump! Okay, lucked that one. No, no, no! I was so close. I just needed to double jump. I thought I could make that in a single jump. I was agonizingly mistaken. Okay, once more with feeling hip. Hip. Key up! Alright, there we go. I could do this more elegantly. I just chose not to. So, I ain't cutting. Because you're all coming along with me. Let's go now. Oh, lucked that one. See, these these floaty controls are, like, weirdly generous in certain respects. All right. Yep. Oh, didn't even yep. Well, this is my life now. I should just die. Because the checkpoint shall put me here again. All right. Slightly whoa, frustrating, this game. Still. I shall deal. Alright. Once more. With feeling. This does actually remind me of a combination of classic, like. Oh, come on. I input the jump thing. Alright. I'm getting a little frustrated now, because sometimes these controls aren't responsive. Um, anyway, classic, like, N64 era platformers with the dimension hopping function of Soul Reaver, and that's an interesting combination. Whoops. Alright, that one was on me. I forgot to jump first. Alright, alright. I'm sure for those of you for whom mechanics like these... Why? Oh, because I light worlded. God, I'm an idiot today. I can't in the moment problem solve for some reason. Heh. And that only furthers the point I was about to make that I'm Sure, there we go. Those of you for whom games like this are, whoa, easy, are cringing like crazy watching me flail about through this. Because it is easy, and like, most of the difficulty I just had is on me. Alright, anyway, moving right along. Checkpoint? Are the sigils checkpoints? I hope they are checkpoints, because those are some huge cleavers that look like they are about to turn deadly for me. Sure are. Oh, okay. Didn't expect the spinnies. The spinnies are concerning. All right. Uh, could I ask why this room was made? For whom was this torture chamber constructed and at what justification? What am I even to do in here? clearly avoid getting sliced in half and I guess just make it over to those platforms across the way well, that doesn't seem that hard it looks intimidating I don't think it's actually that difficult though there's last words all right so let's just wait for an opening Ooh. okay now simple enough do, 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 do. whoa hey there all right now we double jump Double jump. And then we hit. Oh, ooh, okay. Here's where things are going to get tricky, aren't they? Wait a minute. Oh. I can freeze them if I dimension hop. Interesting. All right, so where am I to go here? Am I to go over there or there? Because there's a glowy thing on the ground there. I don't know what that's about. I feel like that's probably where I need to go, though. Because sigil door. I'm gonna head for that one. I feel like maybe that's a mistake. Okay, so you still move. Yeah, these ones on the inner track there still move. It's the outer tracks that freeze. Okay, all right. So let's he. Yep. There we go. I think I'll just ride you around. There we go. And now we just freeze you. And now we hop right on over. There we go. So, 
Crack the door. Simple enough. How's about the corridor next wood? Cool effect there. All right. So don't fall behind. All right. I shan't. He's headed that way. So how do I get up the? All right. What do I do about that? Can I? Can I like stand here and? Alright. I can't crush myself, that's probably good. Uh oh. Oh, I should get on this. I see. Okay, alright. So now we yep. And now we Yep. Got it. Whoa. What the hell just happened? The entire screen flashed dark for a second. That was weird. Alright. Yep. There we go. Alright. Crack door. Cool game this. I am impressed. I can definitely see the formalities of instruction at play here, like introduce one mechanic at a time, clearly delineate the path through the environment with a mechanic in the form of an aid character. Because this really is the tutorial of a grander game that I doubt exists that's just made as a, a proof of concept. You've recovered your ability to grow plants. Be careful, that power may work differently in the dark world. All right, so I can grow them in the light world and shrink them in the dark world, it looks like. Okay, uh, what input is that, E? Okay, um, where should I do that? I assume that's what those like vine pedestal things are for. Is this one? Whoa, okay, yeah, that, that sure is one. Okay, so if I hippity hop, and then I press, oh, okay, I'm pressing E, it's not going any farther up. Maybe I can double jump that in Dark World? Let's find out. Yep, yeah, almost, whoa, what happened? Oh god, where am I? I fell through the world. Okay, alright, let's try that again. Yep, and uh, yep, there we go, alright. So, alright, this is about to get tricky dicky here. Um, where am I to go? Fairy friend, could you direct me in some orientation? I'm not sure. Alright, looks like maybe I could go that way. I could also maybe get up there. Actually, really, it just looks like that way is the only way I could go, so. Uh, let's grow. Whoa! Okay, that went a lot higher than I thought. Can I grow these while I'm standing on them? No. Okay. Uh, let's... Actually, let's shrink you down. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So now... Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, the lack of shadow makes the jumping so stressful. Yep. Uh. I don't know why I wanted to come over to this corner one, because it's not like it's in range of anything. Um, hmm. Let me see. What if I activate that one. How high does that go? Okay, so that clearly creates, like, a stair path. Oh, I just realized this one is still here. I never activated it. Um, maybe that will help? Let's find out real quick, because it's fairly tall. What might I use that for, though? Because I can't jump that high. I don't think. Well, maybe from here? Even so, though, like, I'm, I'm still looking at the same question. What do I... Ooh. Ooh, hello. Okay, this is nice. Now what do I do from up here? Because I still don't think I can jump that far. Maybe I could, though? I don't know. Double jump, maybe? Eh. Ooh, leaves don't get in my way. Eh. Okay, there we go. Oh, oh, I could do that. I could. Okay, all right. Don't screw it up. No. Oh, okay. So I got a hair, and then, whoa, oh, the shadow, or lack thereof, is so stressful. All right, I made it. I made it, I made it, I made it. All right, that was an endeavor. Hi. Thank you. Are you temporary? You sure are. 
Okay. Uh, I feel like I could make that jump there on my own. So I'm not going to worry about... Okay. I'm not going to worry about that thing. That thing feels like it's just going to screw me up more than it'll help me. Okay. No! Mm! That was not my intention. Please don't... Oh, okay, good. So, the circle rune sigil things are indeed checkpoints. That is good for me. Okay, then. Let's go here. And then we'll go here. And then we'll go here. And here. And now I don't know where. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I feel like I may be done goofed. Oh, I mean, I... Mm. I don't know if I goofed or if I just didn't see where to go. Because that... That platform over yonder, that's... That's another arrow pad, isn't it? Like, I shouldn't jump on that. That's a trap. Akbar.gif. Uh... Except it looks like I have to go that way? Or maybe that's just what they want me to think. I don't know. Whoops. Okay, so attempting to chase an object through the environment that already has its own momentum is a foolish endeavor. I should have accounted for that. Okay, so let's wait for you to slow down. There we go. Does this go anywhere? Like, is there anything I could do this way? No. So I do need to mess with these extendo platforms somehow. Not sure how, though. Alright, does anything change if I'm here? There's that thing up there. Whoop! Okay, well, I don't have a whole lot of time to analyze it. Uh, I guess I'll just try to jump on the arrow panel. I feel like that's just asking for sudden death. I don't really know, though. So, let's give it a shot. Hee hee ha ha ho ho. To the funny farm. There we go. Oh, the arrows disappear in the dark world. That's convenient. Alright, so now I know. Arrows are conditional. Uh, th there we go. No, 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 friend, no, no, don't run! I need you! Okay, damn it, I'm here again! Okay, well now I know. Now I know, now I know. Let's do this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Doink. Nailed it. I can do this now. I can actually do this now. Apologies if this is a little dull for you guys. There's just only so much I can do to make footage like this active and interesting at one time. Okay, let's hippity hop over yonder. And... I shouldn't do that! I shouldn't do that! Because I'll freaking die! There we go. Alright, I caught up so I could spare you guys the horror of watching me retrace my steps for the thousandth time. So, now what? Uh, checkpoint, for one thing. Cool hooded guy statues. Ain't ominous at all. Across we go. What are we supposed to do with all these plants? You think maybe you should grow some? I think maybe I should. I think maybe that's self-evident. I think maybe you should stop hand-holding me. I think maybe you should also let me start moving on my own. Oh, I, I can't. The camera just isn't mine anymore. Alright. The repo man done took my camera. Uh... Okay, I'm affecting multiple plants at once now. Oh, is this a combination puzzle? It is, isn't it? It's something like that. Uh... Okay. What if what if I what if I hit you? Oh, oh, I can't hit you. Cuz the glowies shield you from me. Okay. Uh I have a mighty confuse. Okay, let me Oh, okay. I can't jump that high. So you're very tall. Okay, can I, like, activate these while I'm on them? I cannot. Okay. So, this just turned into a totally different game all of a sudden. Whoa, camera, could you not? This is, this is actually really not 
pleasant. Like, this is clearly, like, a demonstration on the part of the developer student that they can make games with fixed camera angles as well as dynamic cameras. As a game, though, this fixed camera, like, for right now, that, that plant tower here, like the one that's in front of me right now, is getting in the way of this one. So the fixed camera really isn't, like, lending anything to this segment. It's getting in the way of it. So I made them all tall and all shielded and all out of my reach, so they can't really help me now. Oh, they summoned more platforms for me, though. Had only I known <laughs> that the plant gods might gift me more platforms. I'd have checked my ego and never questioned their wisdom. Alright. Can I just double jump that? You know what? I feel like that's I feel like that's hubris talking. So let's just take it the easy way. Uh righty ho ho, up we go. Oh, I should probably do something with you. Okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and grow that. And now we'll go ahead and hippity hop ho. And off we go. So now what? Over there, I presume. Because the door I'm trying to get to is where exactly? I think it's above me. I can't actually get the camera to it. So... Is that Nautilus thing still there? Sure is. Okay, whoa. I just realized there are like seals either side of it that only show up if I'm in Dark World. Interesting. Okay, so... Now what? Uh, I'm high up. I don't know what that does for me because I don't think I could reach those floaty arrow platforms oh and those the arrows appear in the dark world they don't disappear all right hmm don't know what to make of that maybe I should make this taller ah there we go all right the answer was staring me in the face the whole time Okay, so now we... Whoa, okay, accidentally double jumped too soon. Charge up my dark world powers and then go. All right. It seems like if I just dimension hop, it resets the counter almost instantly. I can't tell 100% though. Okay, so you, I need to... Dark world. Whoa, oh, it ran out. Okay, so maybe it doesn't recharge instantly. Maybe that was just me taking my sweet time giving me the impression that it did. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. Now I'll just hang out here for a moment, let my dark world powers recharge, somehow. I think that really is the strongest criticism I can levy at this game so far, is that there isn't quite enough feedback to let me know how much time I have in the dark world at any, any I can form words, at any given time. So, there we go. And now I just wait. So, there we go. Okay, double jump midair. Got it. I am a dimensional dervish. Let's freaking do this. Call me a planeswalker and don the cowl. Alright. Cool eel fountain. Watch out, the water is coming for us. That's not a thing I like to hear. Oh. Okay. Uh oh. Crap. Oh, I auto-die if I touch those stones. That seems like a problem. Uh... Should I use these now? I assume I should. There we go. I don't know why I'm shifting to Dark World for these jumpy segments. I don't think I need to. Oh, stairs. Hi. Okay. Yeah. Alright, I'll follow these. Oh, this is weirdly disorienting. I don't know why. Ah, oh, God, this is playing tricks on my eyes. Alright, made it. Oh, those are large spears, friend! Uh, do I just have to time this? Does Dark World do anything to this? Doesn't seem to. Alright, so that's just a timing segment. There we go. Go now. 
Oh, oh god. I don't have much time, do I? Oh, I think I can just like run in a straight line. There we go. Yep. <laughs> just get the proper start timing and you can just run the whole way. Okay, cool. That was sort of exciting. Oh, hi. Okay, rude. Uh, can I just hop on top of you? Nope, you're a little too tall. Okay, let's try, try this way. Here we go. All right, whoa, 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 uh-oh. The water's coming for us. I have a limited amount of time to do all of this. I see. So I don't have much time to stare at it and figure out what I need to do. All right, all right. It's a nice little, uh-oh, 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 ah! Artificial urgency there. I see what you're doing, game. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Alright, let that go. And now we go... I'm just gonna press my face into these. I usually hate doing the running into the wall animation, because it really, like, knocks me out of things. I think for the sake of just getting... Whoa! The most... Move! Ments! Ah, damn it! Out of... Every second. I should just... Eat the immersion ding shove my face into the wall so I can go as soon as it's gone. There we go. Yup. Yup. And ha. Ha. Nailed it. Alright, there we go. So now I'm on floaty rafts. So I'm fine, right? Maybe. Hopefully. Seems like it. Because wood floats. So... Eel face... things... I can't tell if they're helping or harming me. One of these days. Um, oh. Oh. Oh, I think that's actually a platform. Alright, cool. Guess I'll just sit here then. Anybody seen any cool movies lately? Alright. There we go. Yep. Checkpoint. So... Door. Oh, I see. All right, I have to change to Dark World just long enough to activate the mechanism, and then change to Light World to finish it. Okay. All right. I see what you're doing. Uh, I seem to recognize this. Yeah, this is the starting area. We don't have time to dally, don't we? Oh crap! I wasn't paying attention. Where'd you go? Shit! I lost him. Oop! There he is. There he is. Okay. So I gotta go that way. Right, that way. Okay, got it. I remember how to do this part. Ooh, there's very little difference now. Yeah, like, I can hardly... Whoops. Mistimed that. I can hardly tell the dark and light worlds apart. Does that mean something? You're trying to tell me something here, game? Like, I can really only... T oh. Wait a minute. I am a fool. I only just realized. After all this time of me saying, like, Oh, the horn should act as a meter. My cape is the meter. It just moves so slowly. For some reason, I think with all the, like, flowing around and everything as I jump, my eyes never actually caught on to the fact that the light on that cape was moving. Alright, I rescind everything I said about the need for more visual feedback about Dark World Time, because apparently there is a very giant glowing red and obvious symbol for how much Dark World Time I have. I was just so focused on the environment that I didn't look long enough at the character model to realize that exactly what I asked for was present. That's on me! That is all on me. Now where the hell do I go? <laughs> uh, oh. I was supposed to grow that, wasn't I? Damn it! Can I do that while I'm standing on it? No! Grow! Let's try this one more time. Alright, here we go. So... Up. We. Go. I feel like I'm closing in on the end of the game, because this feels awfully climactic. I 
I made it. Somewhere. Cutscene. Man, I remember all those things I did ten minutes ago. This... this is your past. One might call it the immediate past, yes. We were just there, friend. Uh-huh. Yup, that's this room. Mm-hmm. That sure is happening now. Retreat! It's a trap! Alright, so that glowy dome they were putting over the top in that last segment isn't friendly, I take it. Alright, I, I would love to retreat. I would love to take your advice. I'm pressing the move keys right now. And I can't seem to do so. It's too lazy. It's this world is no longer safe. I can see that! And it can see me. More worried about that last one. Could something happen, though? I I get that it's not safe. I, I can't do anything, though. Oh. Alright. I can change dimensions. And make them disappear. And run off through a portal! And that's it. So ends unaligned. Any credits? A few. All right there. So this is a group project. All right. And there he is on a laptop. All right. The ancient tablet of creation. So this was an interesting little proof of concept. Um, I would like to see controls fl like flattened out. It's not really quite the right term. Just uh made more responsive and more immediately apparent in the environment where one is. Um, like that, That's not really a controls issue, because uh, they, they were simple enough, like there were only a, a fair few inputs. Um, I think it's more the graphical representation of the character in the environment that needs a little more work, because uh, for a platforming-centric game, there was, as I mentioned several times, little indication of exactly where I was with the shadow that the character did cast, just not appearing directly underneath me. Which, yeah, admittedly, it wouldn't in any scenario in which a light source is not directly overhead. That's sort of a convention of classic platformers that conveniently your shadow is always right underneath you even when other light sources in the environment would overpower direct sunlight or other forms of light and cast your shadow off to the side, which would make platforming difficult. Um, it just, as a game, isn't super satisfying to miss or to slightly fudge jumps and do them a little less elegantly than you know you could had you a more concrete indicator of where exactly the floor was underneath you in a third-person game like this. Aside from that, this was decent. It was very adequately put together. It looked good. It performed well. This was very optimized. I never heard my computer chugging whatsoever. It uh, maintained a very consistent 60-plus FPS frame rate throughout and seemed as though it was ready to go somewhere. Like, I, I think I said earlier on that this seems as though this is the tutorial segment of a grander game that doesn't exist. And I wouldn't mind seeing the rest of this game were these creators to finish this out. Now, obviously, that's not going to happen because this was a student project. I'd like to see these same people enter into the creative industry for games and take the concepts at play here and render them unto a much larger, more ambitious project, because there's talent at play here. So I'll leave this here and a link in the description for you guys to check this out for yourselves if you are curious and, and, and interested. There we go. There are the words I was looking for uh, to do so for yourself. And I shall see you guys in the next one. So like I said, look forward to a few more indie games like this, because these are fun and easy for me to record, and uh, I want to get into the swing of things for recording much more frequently this year than I did last year, because like I said, I had a lot of things come up like every few weeks and every few months last year that continually threw me off of my game and my rhythm, and uh, I'm attempting to make up for that this year. So uh, doing simple games like this gets me more into the headspace of consistent recording. So look for more of this to come out soon. So thank you all kindly for watching. I'm Kids Market Lesson Press, and as always, I wish you all good gaming and Godspeed.